Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Cullen's 30L1 here in for repair. So I'm going to take it apart and uh, check it out. It's pretty clean other than this a dent right here. So I'll let the customer know. There's my doggy, keeps him company while I'm working. His name's Charlie. So... Okay, so I'm going to get to work. I'll be back. See you soon. Hey everybody, I'm back with the 30L1. So I cleaned the input rotary switch really well with Deoxic Gold. I cleaned up all the residue that was all over the place from the two grid loading resistors that were completely blown apart. Uh, one of the resistors that they put in, uh, one of the four, was the wrong value, wrong type, so four new resistors and four new mica caps I also removed those so I cleaned the TR relay with deoxy gold also I'll be removing that soft start it was maybe a couple sixteenths of an inch away from the high voltage the positive interlock over here and I'll be replacing those glitch resistors with a better resistor so I'm going to get to work and I'll be back. See you soon. I'm back with the 30L1. It's all set. So one of the .01 caps was mismatched. So I replaced all four. Uh, showed before the blown apart grid loading resistors. Replaced all four. Put in gas discharge tubes. One per side of the filament. The 39 ohm resistor was way out of tolerance over here can't see it, it's on a standoff, replace that, here's the old one, change the mica cap, the 220 puff mica cap, one per grid connection to ground, cleaned all the clips, compressed all the clips for the sockets, so this thing, as I stated, had a soft start in it, it was not wired right, so the way it was wired, it basically provided a soft start if you had the power switch on and you plugged it in so when it went if you had the power switch on and then you plugged it in it would give it a soft start problem is the soft start was wired directly to the terminal where the line cord connects so it was on all the time it was engaged all the time when it was when the amplifier was plugged in so I removed that plus it was dangerously close to the crowbar circuit here this is a B positive point another problem you know, someone changed the filter caps and the rectifier board underneath, so um, they had the B positive wire over here at the feed through. I replaced the series glitch resistors, the stock ones put a 10 ohm, 10 watt in, so I moved the B positive wire to the proper side. So basically, uh, there was no glitch protection at all. Uh, the be positive connected here which goes into the RF compartment and it had the resistors between that point and the filter cap so not good I changed the 100 ohm parasitic suppressors I rewound them nice short lead lengths you always not want nice short short lead lengths I touched up on a solder joint over here everything soldered really nice the braided materials in good condition I replaced the meter lamp bulb and I will flip it over and show you the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the bottom. So, this is where the line cord comes in, right here. So, he had the soft start connected between this point and this point, and the ground connection on the soft start board was connected right here to the chassis. So, if this was plugged in, the soft start relays were engaged so every time we turned the switch on and off it provided no soft start in rush protection so now this is all set I also zip tied these wires when I disconnected it I now the wires go from here to here touched up on these solder joints and the solder joints on this board for those two connections this line wire was actually touching the B positive point here this is a crowbar it's high voltage interlock so someone takes the bottom cover off or top cover off it puts a dead short on the B positive to protect the owner so they don't get electrocuted so some people disable that this is still enabled so it's all set and you can see the 
nice clean parasitic suppressor assemblies, lead blanks super short, air variables are nice and clean, this is a nice clean amp, there's that resistor I was talking about, so if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call, it's 203-892-4119, that's 203-892-4119. 4119 and my website is amprepairguy.com. Oh yeah, and this got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, Match Quad. Awesome company, can't say good enough uh, enough good stuff about them. Just great product. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.